Wednesday, 10, 9 central. See full episodes anytime on Watch ABC and ABC On Demand. Right now on 11 and 11, new developments on that tragic accident at the 2nd Street Bridge. A young woman hit and killed by a cement truck. WHS 11 News has learned the family has now filed a civil suit. We'll go over the claims in a live report. And will he or won't he? Could Agriculture Commissioner James Comer become Kentucky's new governor? He sits down one-on-one -on -one with WHAS 11 to talk about the buzz. Plus, they say they're being threatened with an eviction notice. A family at the center of a tragic fatal fire. But their landlord says, hold on. That's not the case. 11 at 11 begins right now. On your side, this is WHAS 11 News. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at 11 o'clock. I'm Doug Prophet. And I'm Melissa Swan. Just weeks after a tragic accident at the 2nd Street Bridge, a family is now filing a civil lawsuit against a Louisville cement business. An advanced ready-mix cement truck struck and killed a 24-year-old at the 2nd Street Bridge as she was walking to work. Her family is now suing for negligence. 11 and 11's Alex Schumann's been looking over the civil lawsuit. He's also talked with a legal expert about it tonight. Alex? Doug, the family's attorney says they filed this lawsuit to get answers. Police tell us that the driver did have a green light and that Ryan Toole was legally crossing the street. The tragic moments leading up to this.